What's up guys, it's Seawolf. Today I want to go over this Maxpedition Kiss Pouch or Haversack or Man Purse, Sling, whatever you want to call it. And uh, kind of some of the stuff that you can put in this thing, what'll fit. I'm not going to go so much into the details, but just kind of showing you guys size so you get an idea of what you could use this thing for. So the kind of application I could see for this is if you're going out in the woods, not really for like a day hike or anything, but just for a few hours and you just want to carry some things. Um, if you want to carry this as like a man purse or something like that, instead of something, you know, more Metro, this is definitely a very masculine or tactical like bag. So some of the stuff you can keep in it, it has a spot for a water bottle, <clears throat> your main pouch, a side pouch right here. And then kind of the reason I actually bought it was it has this sleeve right here that you, they've designed it to put a firearm in or you could put like an iPad or something, which is pretty cool. It's just not padded, so keep that in mind. But it has Velcro, so you can uh, put like a holster in there. Like I said, it's got a spot for like a water bottle right here. Then you got this little pocket. You put maybe like a, a tourniquet. This side is just barely, this pocket right here is just barely large enough for a small fixed blade. This is a uh, Light My Fire Mora. So however long this is, probably about nine inches, eight inches. Then you've got your main pouch, which you can release by this clicker or this uh, buckle. You've got another pouch right here with a slip as well as a zipper right here. You could just put all sorts of odds and ends in there. Pretty nice, it actually holds a lot of stuff right there. Then you've got the main pouch, which is big enough for me to put a little med kit, a Maxpedition um, mini survival organizer, and a Vanquist, I can't remember what they call their version of this, but it's basically the same size as the Maxpedition Mini. And then it's got a grommet down in there for uh, drainage. You can see right here my finger. Then on the back, what I think makes this different from most kind of like haversacks and things like that is they actually put some time into how this feels on your body. You can see how it's contoured. This is actually the reason Unfortunately, that I'm not crazy about it. Just aesthetically, it looks kind of strange. You can see how when it lays flat, it just has like a strange look to it. And the handle is uh, kind of placed in an odd position. But you've got some padding. You might get a little air through here. Probably not really because it's not much. But uh, it does hug your body pretty well. And then they added this, which I probably suggest most of the time just tucking away. But if you were having to move fast or like walking through the woods and you don't want this thing slamming into trees and stuff, you've got this buckle and you can place this around your waist. Show you guys the top view. And that way this doesn't move. You know, it's gonna sit in one spot basically. So you've got your main sling coming up over your shoulder and then this sling keeping it on your waist. So yeah, overall, I mean, it's a pretty cool pack. Uh, it may not be for everybody because it is, it is definitely tactical looking. I mean, it's not a, it's not like something you're gonna see every single day. I feel like this would be really good though for those just little day hikes when you want to go out and do some bushcrafting or whatever. So I appreciate you guys' views all the time, and uh, if you like this video, like it. And if you want to see more like it and uh, some things coming up, this channel is kind of a, a dump for whatever hobby I'm in at the time. So. Maybe down the road we talk about stocks or something like that. But for now, let's just keep going over all this outdoor gear, little organizers and things like that. And I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one.